We're at episode 10 and this one is asking why does a plug spark when you pop it in? Now back in episode 2 which was about 7 mistakes when changing a plug. Uh, if you look in that episode you'll see loads of photos of what can occur when changing plugs and the issues you get with plugs and sockets and there's some photos on that one that you can have a look at. Because what I'm going to demonstrate here, those photos show clearer. Now, so the issue is, and I get this asked quite a lot, when you go to say this is a socket or an extension, it doesn't really matter, or an adapter, and you've got a plug and you pop it in and you get sparks at that time, or you hear a crack, something like that. What's that all about? Is it dangerous? Well, Here's the thing, there's multiple reasons why that could be, so let's go through them. Now first up, the plug, the pins should be shiny, they're always really shiny when, you, when it's new. So this part here, the metal part, the copper, or whether it's got a coating, sometimes it's got a coating on them as well. That should be clean, shiny. If yours looks dim, discoloured, or even burnt out, then that's an issue. So what that means is you're not going to get a very good contact because it needs to be cleaned up and fresh. Also in the socket itself, now I wouldn't recommend looking around this and poking into it, but you might, it might be that the socket is worn. Now instead of taking them apart, how you might know that is if you've got a fresh plug, a clean plug, and you put it in and it still sparks, and that could tell you that it's in the socket side and not the plug side. It could actually be both. And then there's something else as well. If you put a plug into a socket, it should be fairly tight like this one is. That's qu quite tight. But if you put one in and it's loose and you can feel it's quite loose, what happens is on a socket, it's made up of springs which will tighten onto that pin of the plug coming in. Over time those springs get less springy and they move apart slightly. They also get, so they get worn and they push out. So that becomes loose and obviously the contact isn't going to be as good as what it was when it was brand new. So the freshness of the pins, the freshness of the socket and the actual connection and strength and springiness of the back of the socket itself. Now that isn't something that you can change. You can't replace individual bits in a socket because they are a sealed unit. What you should do is, first of all, if you're gonna change a plug, and I'll cover this in another video, you should really replace it with a molded lead. That's the easiest option. If you're gonna change a the socket, then it's the whole thing. And again, I would get someone to do it if you're not sure how to do it yourself. Uh, I did cover changing sockets because there are a lot of issues with that and that was episode 3. So hopefully this has been useful. If you've got any plugs, sockets that are cracking, that are sparking, get them sorted out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again in episode 11.